Hello guys, in this lecture we will be learning about Carnet Cycle. What is Carnet Cycle? Actually Carnet Cycle is reversible cycle. That is it is an ideal cycle with maximum efficiency compared to other cycles. In cycles, change in internal energy is zero. That is total heat is equal to total work done. Now we will be learning Carnet Cycle through a flow diagram. We have two heat exchangers, one turbine and one pump. You can see the turbine is connected to generator. That is, when the rotor of generator rotates, electricity is produced. Now let us start from here itself. In heat exchanger 1, heat is supplied at constant temperature of T1 from source. That is, constant temperature that is reversible isothermal heat addition take place. Now, when the heat addition has taken place, the steam would now enter the turbine. That is, in turbine now, expansion occurs. The steam expands to low pressure and low temperature steam. And even the work is produced while the expansion. Now, at 2, the expanded steam now enters the heat exchanger 2. And in heat exchanger 2, heat is liberated at constant temperature T2 in the same. Now, the steam has got converted into water in heat exchanger. Now, the water is entered into the pump. And in pump, it's now again back pump to the heat exchanger. During in the pump, work work is work is done on the system, and in the turbine, work is achieved from the system. In the turbine, work done is taken as positive since work is done by the system, and in the pump, work is done on the system, so it is taken as negative. Work done by turbine is positive, and work done by pump is negative. Now we are understanding this diagram through TS diagram. Let us take coordinate as T and abscissa as S. I have already told in the previous lecture about this curve of TS diagram. Now from 1 to 2 is isentropic expansion. Let us assume this point as 1. That is there is, not, there is no change in entropy. So this will be a vertical line. 1 to 2 is isentropic expansion. From 2 to 3, we have isothermal heat rejection. That is, steam gets converted into water at constant temperature and pressure. So this is, let us take it as T2. This point is 3. So from 2 to 3, we have isothermal heat rejection. Now from 3 to 4, work is done on the pump. So this is iso isentropic compression. Compression takes place to back to the original pressure. So 3 to 4 is isentropic compression. Now from 4 to 1, we have isothermal heat addition. That is, water gets converted to steam from 4 to 1. It occurs at constant temperature of T1. Now, I will be deriving the formula for efficiency. We know that as it is cycle, dq is equal to dw. That is, work done is equal to heat supplied or heat rejected. And since change in inter, inter, uh, internal energy is zero, so dq is equal to tw. Now, efficiency is equal to q1 minus q2 by q1. q1 is the heat supply and q1 is equal to t1 ds. This is ds. q1 is equal to T1 ds and Q2 is equal to the heat rejected. This is Q1 and this is Q2, which is the heat rejected. And Q2 is equal to T2 ds. So the area under the TS diagram gives the heat supply or heat rejected. Now Q1 is equal to T1 ds. Ds ds will get cancelled and our formula will be reducing to T1 minus T2 by T1 that is 1 minus T2 by T1 is equal to efficiency so efficiency of Carnot cycle is equal to 1 minus T2 by T1 where T2 is the temperature of heat rejection and T1 is the temperature of heat addition in 
even the Carnot cycle has maximum efficiency, then also we don't use it in practical life. The reason is that here you can see this is liquid and vapor mixture, and this is pumping. It's really difficult to pump liquid and vapor mixture to higher pressure. And the next point is that this is from 4 to 1, it's heat addition at constant temperature. And in practical life, at infinite, at infinite pressure, that is a very high pressure, heat addition at constant temperature cannot be attained at all. This is one of the limitations of Carnot cycle. Thank you. Thank you guys for your overwhelming response. We'll try our best in our upcoming videos. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe. Please. And for further further reviews, you can write in the comment box. Thank you.